Once the temperature drops and the weather gets wet and icy, climbers begin to move indoors for artificial rock. The indoor rock wall at the West Virginia University Recreation Center is a popular spot for the climbing community this time of year. Climber Mark Albrick uses indoor climbing to train and to maintain his skills. Basically the main reason I indoor climb is for training for, with specifically if it's like bad weather or something like that. Because um, the main idea is to climb outdoors but like this makes it more access, you know. If you're like trying to go short or something, just do like an hour, you know. It's not worth driving all the way out there to go some crag, it's outdoors. So it's really just for training I would say. Indoor rock walls feature colorful holds and marked routes of varying difficulties. The wall welcomes all skill levels of climbers to come get vertical. Climber Tino K Office has found a home here at the wall. I have really never seen another sport like this that's just so, one, competitive, but also so uh, team oriented at the same time because I feel like I have a lot of friends I've made here, we all kind of compete. We also help each other get up the wall and, and make the certain moves and, and uh, get stronger. For years, the only indoor climbing facility in Morgantown has been the wall at the WVU Rec Center. That will all change soon with the Gritstone Climbing Gym that is currently under construction. The new climbing gym is located in Saberton. It will offer several disciplines of climbing. The gym is set to open in a few months. You can follow its progress on the Gritstone Facebook page. The climbing community has a home in all seasons with the growing indoor climbing infrastructure in Morgantown. The WVU Climbing Wall offers a kids climbing club open to the public and workshops for anyone affiliated with WVU. Reporting in Morgantown, I'm Noah Clune.